Welcome back to Wizardry 8, dear friends and deep thinkers, and we're at the next level. Now, <laughs> we're going to the upper monastery, and it's a m much more dangerous place. Hello? Not in terms of the boss Anyone fight. Hmm. It seems that this place is as quiet as a tomb. Not in terms of the boss fight, but in terms of the stuff roaming around here. So we have to quickly get into this corner. Is a beast here? Because there's already some very dangerous this rats coming. As short and sweet as a summer rain. These, rattle, these rats can give us disease, which is uh, something we cannot year, uh, really cure yet. So, cure yet. So it's it's really dangerous. It's really necessary that we avoid that. So we need to kill them as quickly as we can. As you can see, they can nausea. They can also give you disease. So um, it would also be really good to get them to sleep. Okay. And of course we'll wait until they're a little bit closer. Before we then attack one of them preferably. Okay. That one in 28 hit points, it's a pretty s strong one. Yeah. Also the level is pretty strong and these are fixed spawns. So you always get these, you always get these rabbit rats. Ah, they are not affected by the bard, unfortunately. Ah! The hits are tough. The hits are tough. What else can we get in there? Mm. Yeah, the energy blast is still the best. And hoping for the best is also the best. Here we go. Oh. What good damage this was. I already got one of them down. Wait a bit again. Coming. Five damage! Great! Great great stuff by Manuel. Jinx puts her to sleep and takes it out. Nice. I'm getting better. Time for me to take a well deserved bow. I think I am getting better. Good. Now the the next stop is up here. That's a relief. And there's also a creature up here, so we're gonna rest here in the middle of it, so we don't get attacked. Like while we are, while we're leveling up. So more dexterity and senses. For all that modern weapon ranged combat goodness. Bard, getting tougher. Especially in terms of stamina and uh, carrying power. Carrying capacity is going to be really good for our bard. Mooks are gen in general very good. They don't have the best stats in general. They're a little bit slow, but in other terms, like in also mental resistance, they're extremely good. So that's one of the reasons. Mooks excel in, in a lot of roles that don't need piety. They're just not pious, but the rest is okay. You can see she's already increased her sword skill to 11, which is very good without any training. Then Echidna, of course, doing great. And uh, as a fighter, she gets a lot of hit points. Oh, I'm going to get something into ranged combat and a little bit of shield and bow. And the rest... You have summoned me? will heal. This is most unfortunate. And we'll heal again. That is the way to heal uh, with these characters out of combat because they're just not reliable enough for the time being. And now let's see how that does. Eight turns on the missile shield, eight turns on the enchanted blade. That will be really relevant just right now. I've sighted a creature. This there. little dust up will be no problem. There are Seekers okay. waiting for us. They are also water-based okay. creatures, which is why we're right. again taking the energy blast with our bishop against them. And they're also okay. ranged combat based, so attacking them from melee range, if you can do it, is really good. So um, there we go. And of course Missile Shield helps, you'll see that. They're relatively re resistant to sleep, but we made that Seeker lose one round, so it's good. It's good, it's good. 
We're going to get it further. A little bit further. We can uh, then position ourselves into a range so we can reach both of them. So you want to have as few movements as you can. So, who is carrying this now? It should be the fighter, but she's nauseated. Everyone needs to carry a bit. Ow! We're now at a point where um, it already starts that some of our people, thanks to the attribute bonuses that we gave them, start to be really good. For example, the ninja. Okay. And though starting out as relatively useless, now. we're now in a really, really good and useful position. Now. Biscuits. Another missile shield. Yes, we made it. And another enchanted blade. Very good. Very cool. Some more cure poison potions. And in general, I, th I think we should rest a tad now. Because there's a lot more rats, dangerous rats, waiting for us down there. Biscuits. Always at the start of... ...of each uh, battling expedition, so to say. Always cast the buffs first. So we have fresh buffs. I mean, you can also cast them before combat, but it might get a little bit... Uh, Locked tight. Mm. Here. Difficult then. Now it's getting better, and uh, yeah, these things can really kill you. <laughs> so you have to always take a step back. That's I don't know why that that is. It's the case, but it is the case. These things can kill you. So these leather boots are a little bit better than the buskins. So we're gonna give them over to the fighter who is in the front line, and. Um, See, we still have sandals here. Can replace them. Which is a good thing. Locked tight. That's of course. I mean, there's I think a, an armor in in there that that's pretty okay. But what you can do here is you can basically click that forever, and in that way try to practice your skills but I'm I'm really getting impatient with these often 21% is just not that good for for three of these later on when you have 30 35% it gets much better you can also force the chance now the force chance directly opens uh, the box so a force chance of 7% is actually a better chance than a locked trap skill of 21% because we have the 21% chance three times. And because of how percentages usually work. <laughs> that's, that's just a little bit worse. Uh, so we're going to try to force as well. Fail to force the lock. But our others yes. can also try to force the lock. Um, of course. Fighter has a good chance. You have summoned me? No, she has a minimum chance. Yes. You need a Bellowed. minimum strength to, to to force them. So. A votre service. Of course. We're getting in there. Here we go. <laughs> Gonna ram your head against the thing, and then <clears throat> open it if you if you lose patience. That's absolutely <laughs> an okay idea, I'd say. So let's see who gets this. Um. Still have a cloth shirt here, so going to replace that. It's too better. It's it's a good improvement. Not gonna lie. And uh, the gadget here now can get some kind of um, combination of weapons, just in case she has no more things to shoot with or someone's really close. Then it can give you um, a little combat penalty if you're trying 
to shoot with to shoot with something instead of going for melee range things. Uh, oh the beautiful leather helm there. Which we gave to the fighter. Got all of this, but there's something more to this, but that we'll see later. <laughs> because there's something in the middle of these. And it's not clear how to get access to that. But well, I'll show you. It's it's a secret thing that gives a really, really, really strong item for this part of a game. Not a killer weapon. I see something, something. Um that will be viable for nearly the Yeah. Usually you use the item you get there till the end of the game. <laughs> Because it's so good. It's crazy. It's really crazy. Wow. Was that? No. <laughs> yeah, sometimes you go to uh, to the wrong direction there, so there's a couple of possibilities to go. Now there's a hall with a lot of rats here that we're going to confront. Now there's something special here. Look at that. Hall of Meditation, no magic allowed. So I cannot cast magic inside of that. But if you're still here in the in the hallway, you can you can use magic. In there, there's a total silence zone, and you won't be able to use magic. So that's why we're waiting here and confronting them here. I mean, it's also tactically better. Right then. But it's uh, it's it's another thing, and we don't need to sleep uh, to sleep them because they'll come in here one by one usually. It's right just then. rats. The rabbit rat is the most important one to get down, and it's coming first, so that's really good for us. Because then we won't have used up stamina, so we'll hit a little bit better. The rabbit rat. The noir rats, they can do good damage, but um, they're not really that dangerous. Uh, here we go. Right then. Gonna wait for the next one. Okay. Uh, and of course this is also a position for you know what. <laughs> Be a really good idea. Okay. Right then. Yeah, let's just do it like that. Acid breathing from the fighter. Hitting nearly all of them, which is... Um, they are, they're actually running out of the cone. Really smart move. Sometimes the AI of these is really good. And that was like 50 damage or something with one move. So that's pretty great. We're, we're going to do that again. Okay. I think we're going to try to fuel her a little bit with stamina. Right then. Well, that's a sneaky... Um, first levels tactic. Later on, the acid's um, breathing is not that relevant, but at the start it's pretty good and can save you a lot of time and also some trouble. In general, if you go for area effect spells, like if you get three or more monsters, they're usually worth it. Two monsters not so much, but three or more no problem, it's really good. So I think we're going to change now to to normal uh, again. Because okay. it's... yeah. Yeah, we could have also used <laughs> acid breathing. Whoops, yeah, it would have been better. But that way we get a little bit more practice in. Not bad. Not bad at all. Oh, there's another rat. Another two rats. Another four rats. Wow. Right then. Okay, okay, okay. Another four rats. Okay. Yeah, may they come. They're all, a lot of them are still hidden. Also often the case that in this area specifically, there are rats spawning behind you. So that might also be the case. That will be a not-so-nice surprise. 
The rats are also vulnerable to mind stabs because they are kind of intelligent creatures. So it does good damage there and from time to time makes them insane, which makes them randomly do something. So we're gonna train that a bit on them. Katana does do good work. It's really lucky that we found that. It was a totally random drop. Here we go. Last one. Sweet! Did did really well. Did really well here. Now you we have can summoned me? Heal up again. It's always what you do after combat. Like you heal up or even you rest. But now we have, you have summoned some me? healing possible, so we try to use the healing. And we don't really need to rest for that. I mean, we could, but it's not necessary. It is, though, necessary to recast our buffs. Nice. Biscuits. Ah. So we don't we don't really need the the missile shield in this now. Because the opponents that are coming um won't use something. missiles or something like that. So pick up everything. Looks there. That's the rule. If the book of blessings now, which is really great. I'm gonna give it to the bishop. First class. Lance the spell bless. Bless gives you an in-combat buff. And it's basically the way you start a combat. As a standard move. This is something that we'll later use for a gadget, the magnifying glass. And there. yeah, there's another book. Book of traps, which will help us out. First class. For disarming traps. Books about philosophy and metaphysics. What is that book? So the lords populated Dominus with all manner of creatures. Wise and foolish, weak and strong, beautiful and hideous. We, the Higardis, play a special role. For it is said that we will populate the new world when the Ascension comes. The Cosmic Lords and Fun Zhang here. History of the Repex Wars. Prophecy in modern times and technology and change in Higardi society. That's the real hard hitters. Intellectually, right? And now here we are, we have the real hard hitters here. The cleaver, which is a pretty good axe from the damage, but you hit less good with it. And you can make something out of cleavers. Now, what you can do here is you can fry this thing, overcharging it, and you get a chip that you'll later need for a very very cool see gadget. It gives you an extended radar, basically. Things main gauge, it's pretty helpful. And there's also, I, th I think, something that you can drink here. No, not in this space. But this is actually a preview to a machine that you can activate later on. Do not overcook. Yeah, we did overcook. <coughs> now you need a key there. And the key you get from another place. Still useful to go there. And. Um, uh, rest here in the edge a little bit. I have a very high risk of... Look, there's something still lying around here that we overlooked somehow. But it might just be in another room. Yeah, we'll rest here. Because there's a lot of dangerous creatures sneaking around. And they, we might just get surprised. We'll see. Yeah, we'll rest a little bit more, so the bishop is also in full, because we have bless now, we want to use it. We need really some mana for that, so... Go, missile shield! Go, enchanted blade! Mm. So I think we have to go with here now. You, you just have to follow your instinct after a while, but you can also, of course, use the map and always say, I was here, I was here, or you can see where it's still black, um, where you haven't gone before. Make notes. It's really good. I mean, you could even make quest notes on the map. 
So here we go. Have some bandits here. They're not that strong yet, but they're the first, I think, human opponents that you get. I've infested this. And of course, against uh, these kinds of opponents, mind magic is pretty good. I'll try to make them sleep a bit. Still want to make one of them come okay. here. So, let them come. Oh, that's the raider. That's a strong one, and he can knock you out. Pretty good hit points, but should work. Uh. They're both sleeping. It's a pretty good development for us. Because they can throw... Um, Knives and something. Right then. Still want the mind stab. And they can throw death stars, or this guy at least. Which has a actually a percentage chance to kill one of your guys, so <laughs> of course it's modified a little bit by your values. For example, if you have high vitality, that will help you out, but there's still that chance that this random guy might kill one of your guys, just like that. And because of that, the missile shield is also really good. Nothing satisfies like the taste right of there. blood. There. Ironically, the best hitting... Now, don't hit. Right then. I can find some more sweet pants. Nice. But we cannot equip them while in... Uh, right then. While in combat. Yeah, we can, we can test our ranged ability a little bit here. See, we had a lot of level ups for our skills. Among the mental magic. Yay! Grab all of that. Pretty good things to find. You can see these symbols. It's really mystic. It's it's really in spite of the old graphics, it's really well done. It's it's relaxing. It it has something. It just has something. And it can scale up really well. So they they have to have done something really, really right there. Something in the edge here? Yeah. Some bullet stones. For the Gadgeteer. Gadgeteer is not doing that much damage. You can ac get access to um, some statistics here. So she's had 9 kills, <laughs> while the Ranger has had 32 kills. That will change over the course of the game, though. Um, Jinx has had 26 kills. Fighter also 36 kills, the Bard with whopping 18, and our Bishop relatively well done with 27 kills and a lot of damage. So, let's progress here. Just a little bit. More of these mysterious rooms where they had been sleeping. I see something. I see something. And you can see why I like the ranger. Because he just finds so many things so quickly. Cure light conditions. Like for example, nausea is a light condition. So if you, something gets you nauseated, you can take that. But also blindness, which is much more affecting, is also a, a light condition. And there's also a spell for that. That is pretty useful. So there's more human opponents. You should lure them this in. Dust up will be no problem. So we don't need um, a level battlefield. They will not try to surround us. They, are th they have throwing weapons. So um, right then, we're just gonna wait for them, basically. And of okay. course, we want these to sleep quickly. So. <clears throat> We'll not wait for them to come to us. As you might notify now, spells are do not need to hit, so that's a big advantage of spells. They don't have that thing. 
to worry about. Right then. Now we can run in. Okay. Because the other guys are still going to sleep for a while. And can take the others out. Apparently the thieves had no qualms about desecrating a holy place. You wonder what became of the monastery's original inhabitants. Okay. I don't want to wake up the sleeping ones. So we're going to go here first. Your mind is the source Most of the action. Trouble. Your body is the agent of calamity. <laughs> there is no one to blame but yourself. Ouch. Now there's that one. Okay. Moving quickly. Oh, six damage. Pretty strong. Going to position ourselves so we... Okay. We would theoretically have access to both of them, but we want to take out the one that is not sleeping first, of course. Right there. Blast away. So that's the rest of the bandits, and look at that! <laughs> we find some shuriken, let's give them to the ninja. Shurikens are really good um, throwing stars. Mm. Right there. Let's see what we can do. Um, we should definitely move in. And then, uh, yeah, we can even walk. Okay. It's not that important. We run. Uh, like that. Oh. Well, and now maybe practice a bit of acid splashing or something. Here we go. Boom. Now these might run, right? They're considered intelligent, so sometimes they run away. Hmm. Well, good stuff. So it's always important before you start healing. In these tight spots always go into an edge because there might be, like in this case, invisible rats or something like that that can Another come series. and uh, get you. So, really going to look for it. And um, if you heal, um, mostly go for the frontline guys first. So, what's next? We came in here, and there's a whole lot of other things to consider. This one will go in later because there's something hidden there You bellowed. that uh, we need to open first and we'll do that later on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We also need a new enchanted blade. Ah, didn't work. But now. Another couple of seekers. Vulnerable as they are water creatures to the energy blast. Good old energy blast. Right That's there. why energy blast is so strong at the start. And also vulnerable to mind okay. spells. But we want to walk in. Okay. Because um, they're ranged creatures. It's always good to confront them head to head. Uh, position yourselves something. so you can attack at least two of them. Okay. Okay. And still focus on one. <laughs> now these have numbers of hit points that make Berserk uh, okay. viable again. Okay. Yeah, let's focus, of course. <laughs> Sleep? Yes. Boom. <laughs> 38. That's a little bit of an overkill. But hey. Right then. But hey. Next. Oh, what a 14 damage. That. Crazy. We're down to one use of that, so we're gonna go for the mind stab. Right then. This creature's gonna be mind affected, so. 
Go for that. Uh, backfired. In some positions, um, backfire doesn't hurt you. It's mostly random, I think. And we hit them, and they became insane. Oh, that's pretty good. So as he's insane, we might just as well uh, practice stuff. So let's go for ranged. You can do that from time to time if you have really easy opponents. Just go for some uh, like practice uh, regimen, and you see we already increased some ranged combat here for savvy too. Something in here again. And nearly no one was hurt. Pretty cool, eh? Uh, can we... No, we cannot heal again. We can go in here. There's only a story encounter in here, as you can see, this guy. Who's that over there? Alethadus. He's waiting for us. And uh, we'll though go around there and uh, let's see. I see something. There's a lot of things hidden here, so go and uh, spot all of them before we talk to the man. Which has a couple of advantages. Looks there. Oh, hidden smelling salts. Also, you can wait at a, at one spot for a little bit from time to time. Might discover more. Sometimes there's something hit, like a, in the such small <clears throat> positions. I forget a little bit closer in, but sometimes not. It's, it even happens to me that from time to time, I actually uh, find something I've never, never before found in. So you know, that's magic nectar that gives you. Um, mana points back, so it's very useful. So this is a little bit of a preview of the story. Very impressive things, but I don't want to spoil that now. Uh, if you watch uh, the playthrough for a longer time, then you'll get it. Magnificent. Look, there's some parts of the story here. You see that stone tablet, you see this comet or something. You see something here behind that, and beautiful windows. It's just magnificent. Hey there. I have been waiting for you for some time. I am Altheides, sent by the Cosmic Lords to meet you here. You are not the first to come here to the planet Dominus, but you are the last. The Trang, the Umpani, the Mook, and the dread Dark Savant have already arrived. All of you are here for a single purpose, to ascend to the Cosmic Circle. To ascend, you must learn all that a Cosmic Lord knows. These tasks will not be easy. You must learn of life, of knowledge, and of change. Who will learn these things first? Who will we then see at Ascension Peak? Will it be you, the Savant, or perhaps none at all? I cannot say, but we'll bring word to the old lords that at last the final contenders have arrived. So that's adding to the dialogue options into our journal. Well, yeah, you have a quest journal here. It's really innovative. With that, he begins to fade away, leaving you to ponder his questions. You wonder how you could ever learn all the things that a cosmic lord knows. You heard knows. the metal guy. We have a job to do. But now, someone else is coming. Come on, come. <laughs> That's where the game is always loading a bit or something, I don't know. Hey there. Hello. Don't tell me you no. believe that. The Ascension. Becoming like a cosmic lord yourself. Can you imagine more pathetic beings ruling a universe? No, there will only be one who ascends, the Dark Savant. 
and he will destroy this world in an instant, should anyone attempt to stop him. Go to Arnika and see the tower built there. It contains a device powerful enough to destroy this planet, and you along with it. So consider that as you go from here, friends, and know that we watch your every move. And what does the device savant want from us? That he leaves us alive if he if he's so powerful, or maybe he isn't. He presses something on the staff of his weapon, and as quietly and suddenly as ah, they came, company. his gun. Strange, strange things are happening, eh? And we're healing the bard. <laughs> you have summoned me. Here we go. ACDC is at full health. Very good. So what are we gonna do next? Uh, go out here and we'll, we'll look for the next thing to get done, which is just around the corner there. So we maybe let's go in here again and rest here because it's pretty safe here usually. Also pretty majestic, we have to look up here. A little bit of rest is okay to just to get the mana back from our bishop. You bellowed. Yeah, we want to buff again, man. Enchanted blade and missile shield. Biscuits. Let's have a look up here. Look at that. See the sky and something above here. Interesting. Strange symbols. In the end, everything will make sense, though. I can also look at that thing. Foon Zhang. We heard of him. Apparently he is the Cosmic Lord. Foon Zhang. So that is the Foon Zhang Monastery. There's a lot of moons here. It's very cosmic. And there's something around the corner here. Depending on your level, it can be very, very strong what expects you there. And we'll see what we get. We enter this with, I think, level 5. Stand back and watch me fight. You might learn something. Twelve Seekers. That's a lot. But Seekers are not that dangerous per se. So that's good for us. Mm. So first we want to run in. Right then. So we can uh, do the fighter thing. But we also want to try to control them okay. with a poet's loot. Right then. So we'll run in. That's the first step. With a missile shield, so a lot gets blocked. ACDC though is nauseated, which can be a problem. And it's quite a number of um, quite a number of them here, as you can see. Ah, no one can do anything. We have our secret weapon. Okay. The acid breath. Uh, let's position that even better. No, it's it's perfect positioning. Good, good, good. So, let's try that. Here we go. Ow. Ah. They're repositioning itself. Out of the cone. There's someone here to the side. We have sleep. Now they will be woken up again, but not all of them. There was pretty much a lot of damage here. And so we're going to try to repeat that. Because it's just so effective, so we're going to feed the fighter like stamina, that. and the fighter can do the acid breath. Okay. The rest of the guys will just attack normally. <sighs> Reducing the opponents. Seeker retreats. Still a lot of damage. Right then. All right, we'll do that again. It's good as long as there are at least three in the cone. Rule of thumb. Look at that. Starting to do damage with the Gathered here, thanks to the improved arm minigun. Yeah, they can also hit you. Look at that. 
how much we're doing. We'll try it at least one okay. one more time. Mm, yeah, we should try that like like that. Because if you're a little bit away, you have a better cone to damage them. There's now also some behind us, which we will uh, correct later on. Look, they're, they're still alive, which means we'll continue this. Right there. Definitely. Okay. Still hugely effective to, to do it like that. <laughs> I mean, you can face them one by one, but then you have to go around a corner and confront them there, otherwise it's a little bit tough. Here we go. It's still five that we have in the cone, so we'll continue to do okay. this. Right then. And feed stamina on. We'll get some attacks from the sides, but it's only two that are on the side, and some have retreated, so they will not attack us. We're down to three. That's still okay. So I think we can get one more here. Okay. So we're at four again, and here we go. Down to three. It's still good. It's still good. After that, we'll go one by one combat. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. So we'll go closer to this seeker. That will hopefully help us out. Um, the fighter also needs to do something. Uh, we cannot really okay. continue with a breath. That will make her unconscious, so we'll wait a little. Okay. Mm. Now we shouldn't really... Ah, wait. Okay, if we, if we do it like that, then... And that guy will get... <laughs> I think we have to do it like now. Oh, wait. Yeah, yeah. Now, now we're staminaing this guy. You can heal uh, the opponents if you, if you choose to do so. That was really foolish, though. Oh, we'll try to to attack him. Just um, yeah. Here we go. Siko already looking better. Right then. Understand? Yeah. yeah. And then become upset. It's fine. Got some wounds here. I think it's high time someone he most heads traveled. Oh, no, we're healing the seeker again. Oh my goodness me. Well, we have to do it like manually then. Here like we go. Let's walk a little bit now. Walk so we don't lose too many uh, stamina points. Here we go. Took that on. Relief. Well, that's good no for normal attacks. They don't need so much right stamina. Here we go. Mm -hmm. Now we're going back. There's someone hitting us from here, from the side. Much better. Okay, good. So a ninja sh should heal someone. Should he try to heal the bishop. And the bishop should again give right stamina there. to the fighter and we'll walk okay. over to the seeker oh 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 so, uh yeah nice yeah they're all shooting to the end. Well, we'll focus on this guy right then try that again with the healing even though we're looking then uh, to the back line, but that's okay. These guys don't do much backstab damage. Ah, I get a fail. But the fighter gets a kid now gets gets healed. Now this time, the ranger will try to heal the bishop. Bishop will give stamina to the fighter again. And we're going to walk over to the last Seeker. Here we go. 
We did it! We did it! We did it! Geronimo oh, gains a level. Splodded. I become even more deadly. And here, technical manuals of some sort. Uh, what you always need to do is like go into a corner. Works on the theology. You suddenly feel drowsy. So we go into that corner here. What's that? Nothing but deadly dull financial ledgers. Thankfully we don't die here. And there's a chest here. An important chest. Give the ranger some stuff. Mm. We'll save up our spell picks for later. We, do, we only really need heal. And we'll save stuff up for later. Later spells, because we'll want to give all the books to the bishop, and we don't know how many um, we'll give to the others. And heal is enough to level them up, so um, they will they will only heal, and that will be good. Damn. Ah. So 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 so. What we should do now is definitely rest here a little, and then we'll do the other things. Bard helps with resting, so with Bard you have, with a Bard in the party, you have quicker resting times. In the resting time you can get attacked, so it's substantial advantage, in, especially in some dangerous areas. Here we go, we've got a crude iron key and a lightning rod. The lightning rod is the first engineering weapon for the great gadget here. Here we go, we'll put it into inventory, like, just like the loot of... Uh, the bard, and then she can use it. Savvy is ready. I have the flail from Mason Flail, but uh, we want to keep him with a bullwhip because it's got range. And we have the locket of reflection. That's really lucky to get that early on. Stamina regeneration plus one, female only, and that's the thing uh, that you get. And we'll give that uh, to someone who uses stamina a lot, either to the uh, fighter or to the bard in that case to the bard because the fighter gets also natural stamina regeneration so um, she also gets regeneration then for her music access denied and now to hurry back of course we got a key and you remember maybe you remember where we needed a key it's down there in the hall of meditation Go back there. Let's hope we don't meet uh, our demise in super deadly rats or something. Moving through all these. And then, and then, and then, very soon. Also, get to the super special secret item. <laughs> <laughs> that is really really worth it you hear a shriek you can uh, really go after shrieks and stuff so you know there's bats behind there they don't look tough at all they don't look tough at all but the dusk bats can really do good good amount of damage so we're gonna go in here and see what we can do probably go for a bless okay. first and we'll try to get uh, okay the breathing weapon done and also we'll try the poet's loot okay. on the normal bats here we go now we get the bless first which is an advantage for attacks sleep spell good and as you can see we already kill some through the breathing weapon Bless one, power two, yeah. Bless one is, isn't really uh, that long lasting. Right it's still good. Now let's attack the dusk bats. Here we go. It's doing a lot of damage quickly, hopefully. Energy blasts. Very reliable. Last bat. And we got it. 
You have summoned me? Oh, heal ourselves. Very cool. Ah, now what do you suppose this is for? It's just like the microwave. That was Hell's Bells, as you can see here. You activate these things and then a lot of glasses crashing. Always look to everything. There's something more up there. We can test one of our new spells. Booby trapped. So you remember um, when we went about traps? You bellowed. Why are we activating the bishop? Because he has now a divine trap skill, which is how good he can cast divine trap. We'll go for that. And that gives us a bonus on Here. recognizing that, as you can see. It's a th I think six percent bonus. Well, it's not that big, but it will grow better. And it's pretty, pretty good. So we see that it's Dagger Scatter. We just want to expect again, so we level up our skills. Come on, ACDC, you can do it. Yeah, it's definitely Dagger Scatter. Seen that three times. And, whoop, there was the level up. <gasps> nah, it's tripped and still armed. But locks and traps increased. Gonna go for that again. Inspecting. You bellowed. We can also cast Divine Trap again. Here. And now we can try that again. Disarming. It's a good sign that it's hard to disarm. Usually that means better loot. Let's see. Oh, a hatchet. So here you go, better loot. It's not better loot. It's it's not much, but hey. But hey. Damn. Only one heal went through. Well, we're me. gonna heal again with a ninja. We cannot heal in the Hall of Meditation. But now everything is shattered. Not though the beautiful big windows, thankfully. That would be heartbreaking. Instead it's just glass breaking. There was something made of glass in there, but I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, that's still there. Um, now we're going to go and go for the secret item. As you can see, this has crashed. This means we have a way down into the middle of it all. Because we cannot jump in the game, but you can jump down. You can see that. And I jump down here. Ow! got hit but it's definitely worth it let's take a step back just in case this thing wants to kill us boom we got a cloak cloaks are very rare got the hunter's cape we already uh, the bishop already identified it gives us two armor class overall not in a specific slot overall it's pretty great it gives senses plus five which helps with uh, gaining ranged experience mostly but also uh, for for close combat experience a little bit so it's really really cool and uh, we can give it to the ranger which would be a big help we can give it to the gadgeteer which would be a big help um, gadgeteer is kind of closer and maybe needs a little bit of a buff rangers is killing left and right already so uh, we'll give it to the gadgeteer even though the armor class really says we should give it to someone else. Mm, maybe in the front line, maybe the ninja. We'll try that out. So who can wear this? So you look, who can wear this? And it can be worn by a ranger, by a gadgeteer, by a bard. And for the bard, it would also be really good to have two more armor class. So first we're going to go for armor class. And when you have um, a better... Mm -hmm. A better item for that, or a similar item, maybe just with armor class. We're going to give that item to the hunter or to the um, to the gadget here. Let's get out of here. Gonna go up in the corner. Heal up. No, we cannot heal up. We'll just rest a little bit. 
Because we're pretty wounded. Yeah, it's necessary. You can you can meet pretty fierce enemies here if you're unlucky. And this green means we can try for level two, which is a lot better. And which will also Let's see here, 61 turns, 30 turns, which will also last a lot longer. So that was the one thing that got resolved here. But there's more. But wait, there's more. That's also something pretty cool. Especially if you chose to make a cool samurai. Something down here. We haven't went there. Of course, there's a vitrine with her. You can see here it's shattered. The Tosedo armor. Here you go. Gives you, um, gives you a lot of armor for the samurai. But it can only be worn by a samurai. So we'll probably sell it. We have this here, the horn. We could have taken this earlier, but we already had the bless spell. It's called Angel's Tongue. And it gives you, uh, as a bard, the ability to play a song that will give you blessing, which is really good. It's, it's the go-to thing for bards to do that in the first round. Go for a bless or for a sleep. It's really, really cool. And then there's another treasure chest, which is trapped, but divine trap and inspecting. Mm -hmm -hmm -hmm. Seems like it's Dagger Scatter all over again, but who's, who knows? We'll test again. Yeah, looks good. go disarming there we go and we get uh, <laughs> not the best stuff <laughs> skull cap oh, if anyone has no cap yet that will be a help and a hatchet hatchets are not really the things battle axes are a little bit better but still not really good so that's not all that there is to the monastery. We will return that one. We will return there one day. But, uh, there's a little bit more to pick up here. As I said, we will return there one day for a powerful, really powerful treasure. Just about as good as the... Um, as the cape that we got here. Access denied. Lord say the 25th, the time has come at last. Yet something is terribly wrong. This dark savant is not mentioned in any of the prophecies. Could it be that not even the cosmic lords foresaw his arrival? We must investigate further. I have sent the Brotherhood off to gather what news they can. I will join them shortly. And we have uh, something around here. Also good. The Fellowship Pass. The pass reads, let it be known that the bearer re represents the Brotherhood of the Ascension. Accord him all the honors and assistance due a member of our order. We can use this thing to get us something in the first city. We'll, we'll go to Anika. So it's important. Then we have the Schillerlach, which is good. And Staff and Wand, it's the skill that we want for our um, ninja. So as great as the Enchanted Katana is, I'll get it here. Fairy Stick is 1 to 5 damage, initiative plus 3, and it has the sleep effect, which can be really helpful. This one is 1 to 6, initiative plus 1, and has KO 5%. So that's even better, but sleep is 50%. So we'll give that into the first hand in the primary, and this is in the secondary. So we can dual wield what we... Um, what we want in the end. Really helpful to get that. Even though it's not a great weapon, it helps us level up the relevant skills that we want for later on. And we also get um, critical strike with a ninja, which means even just to hit has a chance to kill things. So 
hitting more is uh, more effective in combat. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. <laughs> We've gone through all the monastery together now. One of the in most interesting parts of the game, but there's a lot more coming. All of that interesting. We'll go now to the Road of Death. You can already have a look at it. The Road to Arnica. Go there in the next episode. Thank you for watching and happy gaming to you. This is Manuel Kahn signing out. Have a great time until then and happy gaming.